Hi guys, a uh, quick video here, just five things uh, I feel that grassroots coaches in uh, football can learn uh, from FIFA 16. Uh, it's often, you know, people disregard video games as having any meaningful effect on real life, but there are just a few little tips from FIFA 16 that I feel that uh, grassroots coaches of both adult and youth players could, uh, could take advantage of. The first one is the skills on offer. This is mainly for youth players rather than adult players because the kids love seeing skills, we all know that. And uh, FIFA has a plethora of options. Uh, you can see how the skills are modelled out and how they're supposed to be performed. And also you can see uh, a big long list of uh, the names and the methods used to uh, perform those skills. So uh, FIFA offers a lot of options there. You, coaches just have to have a flick through you can see a few of them and then uh, if you're not if you're not good enough at the game to perform the skills yourself you just YouTube them you'll then learn how to uh, how to see how the skill should be done and uh, you can teach your players how to do them. Next up is uh, FIFA offers a match day live system in which you can stay up to date with any football club on the planet uh, it tells you the latest news stories, their position in the league table, top scorers and stuff. And I feel that all coaches should just be a little bit up to date with what's going on in the football world around them. And uh, as I say, you can go to any club on the planet uh, and just check out what's their latest news stories, see who they're being linked with in the transfer window, how the managerial situation is going, top goal scorers, where they are in the league and just uh, yeah, stay up to date. It's worth knowing because your players like to respond to you sometimes with chats about fo the football in well, so then you'll know where to, where to go. And number three, we have uh, formation um, positioning. Uh, a lot of grassroots coaches will stick with the flat 4-4-2 and football has advanced a long way since, uh, since that. And um, I feel that this, uh, this specific uh, area of FIFA is brilliant because there's loads of uh, formations. There's, I think there's, there's about 20, 30 formations in total to play from and coaches just can have a look at these and then uh, have a play around and train in with their formations and see if any of them work for them other than the 4-4-2. Number two, we have uh, player statistics. Now I'm not saying coaches should run out and just get a big long list of things that players are good at and start marking their players off based on their physical and skill attributes. What I am saying is this, uh, this list offers a lot of uh, scope for coaches to ask their players what they are confident in. They can get their uh, players to fill out a section like this saying how confident or not confident they are with you know, long passing, short passing, distance shooting, uh, tackling, slide tackling etc. Uh, then they can just get a better insight to what, what their, their players, players are, are confident com with. And number one, we have the training section. Now I like to run a different uh, load of sessions, I like to change it up a bit, and there's, uh, in FIFA they offer you five sections to look at, they're all the basic sections of course, and uh, they give you a load of drills in that that you can then quite easily act out in your sessions. You can get your, uh, your players doing a lot of these very easily. Minimal equipment needed for a lot of them. Some of them would need equipment, which obviously is dependent on whether you can. But they uh, work on loads of different areas, um, shooting, passing, tackling, uh, set pieces, etc. And there's just a lot of good ones that I think can be acted out in practice. So uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank